I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Sketch. So we're going to go here to my sketch note folder. I'm going to open it up. We're going to go here to Adobe Sketch and click on it. Here is my library of things that I've already done. Here's the plus sign. So to start, you've got some, you've got uh, these on the bottom work, discover, and then settings. There may be some stuff in settings that you want to take a look at. For instance, I turned on show touches now that I'm doing this video so that you can see where I'm touching the screen. Um, I'm going to go back to work plus. I'm going to, I'm using an Apple pencil and iPad on an iPad Pro. Um, you can scroll through here, actually down here as well, and pick what's appropriate for you. So I'm going to choose this one. Here's my canvas. So on the left side, we have the different size. Um, I'll just actually show you what they look like. Oops. That one's like paint, this one's like a highlighter, and this is the eraser. Now, so I'm mostly going to work here with the yellow one. You can change the size of the line. You can change the flow. Actually, I haven't played with this line. I'm not really sure what that does. And then here, you can change the color. So you've got the picker where you've got the palette, and you can do things like this, lighter, darker. You've got themes if you were doing some kind of theme and you wanted, you know, the different shades of the same color, and then, or you can start your library of your own colors. Um, I mostly use the picker. You can go from the wheel to the RBG to what you've, you know, it picks up what you've done most recently. You know, your most common colors. So this is where you could go back and figure out, you know, which one you've done if you go off of it and then want to come back and do the same color again later. And this is some ways to do some different things to the brush. I don't go in here a lot, but if you really want to drill down to some awesome features you can go in there that's how you modify the different styles of the brush then you've got undo here undo redo then this is one of the reasons why i really like this app is because you've got built-in shapes so if i want to put some lines now i've got this and i i'm actually you can see those blue dots are where my fingers are and I'm actually turning it. So if you wanted to do something with math and measurement or like a protractor type of a thing and angles, you could use this. Um, you can bring this in. You can make this fatter. That's just me. You can see my fingers pushing it. So there's that. And then you can just X out. Um, I'll show you really quick how the square and the circle are similar in the fact, well, this you can do a rectangle either way or square. Or again, you can just go like this to make it bigger or smaller. Remember those blue dots are where my fingers are. And what I like about this is now if I take this, this is now goes here and I can X out of that. And now I've got a perfect square. If I'm doing something with that, this is your layers, which are over there on the right side. Again, if I want to, um, actually, let me show you really quick. Another reason why I like this app with paper 53, you can only bring in one image at a time. Um, with this, you say image layer. If you want it on your iPad, you want to take a photo. This it would be the Adobe cloud files. They have a market and then from Adobe stock. So, the market has free images that you can use. I haven't played around with it a lot, but um, there is some stuff there that looks worthwhile. So let's just say on my iPad, go to moments and let's put a picture of some of the new features on the Kamensky Playground. So we'll just go here and now I can size this. 
I can flip it vertically, horizontally. I can put it in a grid. Okay. Um, you know, you can grid density. We don't want to cancel that. So I'm just going to put this here. Done. Now it's in there, and you can see on the right here, I have all these different layers, and now I'm creating another sketch layer around it. So let's say I want to, instead of erasing that, I can just click on here and say delete, or you can merge it down, which means that's the different layers. You can duplicate it. So there's lots that you can do to change it. You can change it how opaque it is, you know, and I want if I want to get rid of this, let's click on, whoops, click on here, say delete, now those are gone, so now I have this and I can actually color, see, color right over that, so there's a lot, and I can, again, I can put in another image, and again, or use my, this in there, okay. so, I can use my camera roll. I can use my whatever on my iPad. Lots there. You can get rid of everything so you have a full canvas. You can pinch this like this, you know, or pinch here to make this bigger. So you you know you can write of your normal size. That's not going to help. back. You know, this is so you can get in there granule and it tells you there and if you look in the upper right hand corner, your your percentage size and where again where you see those blue dots are my fingers. There's some things here in the settings. You want to rotate your canvas by 90 degrees. Um, you want to add those grid lines, the perspective or oops or graphing paper you just um, and you can make wares bigger so there's lots you can do there and then finally exporting it if you have used the Adobe you know this is meant to be used with Adobe products so if you if you have the Adobe integration you can open in the Adobe Desktop apps, link to a project, any of these other, send to any of the other Adobe products on the bottom. I, nine, I've only done image, and that can you save image, send it to your camera roll, which would be this, which would be right here. Yeah. Or again, you can go up here send it to Drive, send it to Facebook, Twitter, you can email it, you can message it. So you've got lots of options here. I, like I said, 99% of the time, I just click on save image and put in my camera roll. You could open it in, and then again, you have, you know, notability, all these other things if you wanted to modify it some other way or add it to a touch cast or whatever. For this purposes, you would put it in your drive, right, and then drop it into a dock or share the image directly with me. And that is how you use Adobe Sketch.